After months of delays, parents are finally getting an idea of how their kids are doing when it comes to standardized testing. The province released the EQAO test results today, and they show many students are struggling in certain core subjects. CTV's Caitlin Wilson joins us live with more. Caitlin. Yeah, Patricia, standardized testing has been a concern in the province for years, and despite the latest results up a few percentage points from the previous two years, the education minister says it isn't good enough. An advisory committee will now be created to dig into student learning. At Pearly Health, where she works supporting seniors and veterans, Tori Poulin is also keeping an eye on Ontario's newly released standardized testing results. I'm definitely worried about what's happening. Her children in JK and grade one haven't done the EQAO test yet, but she says the concerns are already there. I think the fact that the class sizes are so large, it's impossible really for teachers to identify the students that are going to need extra help. And those are where the gaps start. The results released Wednesday, months later than usual, were held back by the education minister who says results aren't where they need to be. There have been inadequate progress in reading, writing and especially math. Half of grade six students and 42% of grade nine students are not meeting the provincial standard in math. And in Ottawa, the numbers are similar. In the Ottawa Carleton District School Board, roughly 47% of grade six and 39% of grade nine students are below the standard in math. In the Catholic Board, it's 42% in both grades. Across the board, frankly, uh, the, the uh, Catholic Board does better than the uh, English Public Board. And we have to find out uh, why that is. The province is now striking a new advisory committee to review how students are taught and tested. But teachers' unions say EQAO doesn't capture real classroom challenges, calling for the tests to be scrapped. Especially over the last five years, coming out of the pandemic, uh, where you know greater gaps have emerged in our classrooms. The education minister says the EQAO results are linked to, quote, dysfunctional trustee performance, which comes as he weighs the elimination of trustees across the province, with Ottawa's public board still under provincial supervision. The minister is pointing at EQAO results and then pointing at trustees, and that's just not helpful. All school boards are struggling with special education. There are not enough uh, EAs or SSLs there to support people. And the minister says he'll name two members to the advisory committee early next year. He also signaled today that we won't get a final decision on whether he plans to abolish trustees by the end of the year as planned.